Uh, you can say the C word, but you can say kipped and welcome to Revishal, fucking hypocrites. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Disco Elysium was so fucking good, dude. We'll talk about it in a little bit. It was so fucking good. Holy shit. The fake slurs that they have created within that universe are so powerful, too. There's the, they say the F word a lot, and they bleep it. They censor it, right? So originally, I thought that they were like actually saying the F word, like the British word for cigarettes, right? No. As a matter of fact, they created a, a secret F word. Like they created a fake F word uh, for that, uh, you know, for the fake language they made. Kip is, uh, I think it's like a, uh, a, what what is the slur for? Yeah. Kuno S was saying, uh, yeah, I think it was, they were saying Fagari or something. And it was like. I forget what it was, but it, it was like ultra liberals, dude. It was so good. We did. It was so good. Like they made like all these fucking uh, different slurs. Tim Kitsuragi is one of the greatest sidekick characters in all of games. Oh, one hundred percent. Kuno. That's right. Kuno does what Kuno wants to do. Kuno's not gonna fucking apologize. Kuno will never apologize. That's Kuno. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Kuno doesn't give a fuck. He's Scouse, not Scottish. I don't fucking, I don't know how to. Yeah, I've always said your Aiden impression is Kuno. Yeah. I did get the plasmid. Yes, I got everything. Dude, I, I, I do not buy it on Switch. Do not play Disco Elysium on Switch for two reasons. One. It's full price. It's ten dollars if you play it on the PC or anything else. It's literally like fucking. I think it was like fifty nine dollars or some shit if you get it on the Switch. Do not, do not, do not play this fucking game on Switch. It is a beautiful game. It is narrative driven. It's a murder mystery. It's like a detective murder mystery uh, that was basically fucking created for someone like myself or people in my community that love, you know, leftist theory and love dunking on neolibs and all this other shit do not get it on the nintendo switch because it is unplayable okay unless you are 30 years old and you're used to playing games where you have to save every fucking moment that you step in and outside of like a doorway and and you know you're fine with like waiting three and a half minutes for loading script uh, for you know insane shit to load do not 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 do not play this game on the switch you will fucking despise it. I loved it because I had no other opportunity. I loved it because I had no other, uh, you know, it was the greatest way to play the game. Do not fucking play it on uh, the Switch. I promise you. It is not worth it playing on the Switch. Did you get the best achievement in gaming? There's a call Biggest Communism Builder. Uh, that was the only one that I didn't fully, like, uh, sweat lord on. Mazovian Economics was obviously what I advocated for. Um, but did you catch Chubba Boys? No, I played the full version, which has like, don't play the old version. Do not play the old version. Uh, it, cause that one is just straight up reading. Okay. You have to read a lot. And in the old version, uh, I asked Felix, like, what do you, what, what was your character? I think he was a like, scab. Um, I did learn about the pale. I did everything. I literally played, uh, all of it. Get the fucking, get the final cut. Do not buy it on the Switch. Buy it on like a PC or anything like that. Uh, there is incredible fucking politics in it. Like if you love politics, you're a fucking politics nerd. The guys that made it, the studio that made it, they're like straight up Marxist Leninist. They, uh, they literally fucking, they, they, they basically uh, praised uh, Lenin when they were in uh, when they were receiving their award some of you uh, were sending me the fucking thing but oh Chapa voice acting let's see this is where you say your bit oh wait who is that is that Matt wow the RCM sent us some big dick cops oh my god Matt was tight as hardy that's nuts Oh my god, wait.
We're here to fight for a cause. Strikes usually have problems with people who have causes. Oh my God, Felix is the fucking scab leader. So none of this is in the final cut because they actually did get like uh, good. They actually did get good voice actors. Okay. Would you recommend to somebody getting into leftist theory? Absolutely. Klaja was played by Dasha. Wait, really? No shot. Dasha was in it too? Man, what is, what is she not in? She got fucking... It was in a New York Times art section article too. Um, the Pale is the most interesting fucking lore in gaming. Yeah, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Their voice acting is so bad. I love that. I mean, I love them. They're my friends. I think they're brilliant. But, you know, so much vocal fry. But I love them for it. Old Kuno versus Final Cut Kuno. Throbbing in the dick. Now, the shit himself. The rake Kuno. You should throw the rake. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Oh, the new one is so much better. New Kuno is actually really good. Kuno's got this. Throbbing in the dick. Shit himself. The rake Kuno. The rake Kuno. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. The feature that almost sank Disco Elysium. Wait, if what? If you had to describe the thought cabinet, what would your kind of elevator pitch be? Bro, this fucking thought cabinet was insane, dude. Okay. This, uh, it was so complicated. Would you say it's worth reading State and Revolution by Lenin? Yes, 100%. You should read Lenin. Uh, and also, you should play this game if you have read Lenin. Oh, here's the speech. Here's what they said when they won the award, which they fucking deserve. This is the greatest game in 2019. I wish I had played it on 2019. We're going to get back to Trump in a second. I just want to show you guys this. And the game award goes to... The final cut is brilliant. Disco it's incredible. Elysium. Disco Elysium also wins Best Independent Game. Tonight, they're taking home a total of four game awards. Holy shit, this is literally Klaasja. Klaasja? Ari at home. Thank you for the five. Get the subs, so, brother. Um, we'd like to thank all the great people that came before us. <laughs> Ilya Repin. Ilya Repin, Vladimir Mayakovsky, Viktor Tsoi. And Marx and Engels for providing us the political education. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they didn't, I didn't, I thought they were, they praised Lenin. They just uh, praised Marx and Engels. But so they're, look, I'm not going to fucking spoil anything, okay? Because you should 100% play this game. But there is a moment in it where you finally get to the main commie. Okay, first of all, nobody respects you uh, as a revolutionary figure because you're a cop. But it is so inside fucking baseball, dude. It's so good. It's so fucking good that, like, finally you get to a man who lives and breathes revolutionary action. And he basically is like, you're not a... You're not a real communist. You're a liberal. Okay. You're a dirty pedophile liberal. <laughs> a liberast, he says. A pederast and a liberal. Which is fucking hilarious. Okay. It's literally just like my Twitter exploits. Did you finish last mission with Kim or Kuno? Wait, what? You can do it with Kuno? I didn't even fucking know that. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, but yeah, I would have never been able to play this game on stream anyway. Um, ACAB except Kim Kutsuragi. I loved Kim's character. I loved this game. It was incredible. So many fucking memes. You have the moralists that are the neoliberals. It's the EU taking down Revachol. I'm giving you background. This is not spoilers. Shut the fuck up. Suck my cock. This is not a spoiler. I'm giving you information that will help you understand the game better when you first play it. And also, it has a lot of replayability and replay value, too, because of all the checks. If you enjoy narrative-focused single-player games like I do, 
you are going to love it. If you enjoy narrative-focused single-player games where you're a fucking detective with amnesia that is trying to solve a murder mystery, you're going to enjoy it. If you like leftist, uh, extremely online leftist theory, you're going to love this fucking game. It was so fucking good. Revachal is clearly based on the Paris Commune. No, and not necessarily. It's a, it's a mishmash of like different kinds of communist and anarchist, uh, uh, like historical communist and anarchist developments and formations. So it's perfect. Um, there's a union negotiation happening between uh, a, a, the union and also the, the company that the union, uh, the, the, you know, the stevedores and the fucking dock workers union works uh, against. And it is brilliant. It's fucking awesome. Is it a good game that's fun to play or just a politics lesson? There is no politics lesson. Uh, it, it's, I did sleep on it. Yes. Because you guys wanted me to foolishly play it on, uh, on stream, which was never going to happen. Uh, let's be real. It is one of the best RPGs I've ever played. I loved it. It like, it was so deep lore. If you enjoy world building, like I do, you will fucking love this because you're talking to someone who appreciated cyberpunk in spite of all of the fucking horrible fucking jankiness because I loved the deep lore that was behind the universe of Cyberpunk. Vampire Masquerade Bloodline is one of my favorite games of all time, again, for the deep lore. Uh, and it was, it was incredible. It was incredible overall. It was really funny. It was really thoughtful. It was, well, what's up? Jarvis Johnson, thank you for the five, get the subs. It was, it was it, it just awesome. You can be a fucking fascist, racist, uh, you can literally like the, the plot lines are insane. You can be a fucking racist fascist. You can be a nationalist. Okay. You can be, I should take this fucking Trump hat off. Um, you can be a racist nationalist, uh, ultra fascist. You can be a fucking moralist, neoliberal, uh, middle of the ground. Like, uh, I only want to make sure that everything like is I'm defending the status quo. You can be a fucking, it's just awesome. It, it, it's so sick. It, it's so fucking dope. Uh, Disco Elysium is the name of the game. And that's the best thing about Disco Elysium. If you make a choice, you commit to that choice. Yeah. You can become like a religious freak. Um, the communist book club is incredible. Highly recommend it. <sighs> Studio Atelier sends, sells handmade Kim jackets. Wait, shut the fuck up. Are you serious? Oh my God. They do. They make it made to order too. Kim Kutsuragi's black airman's jacket originally worn by mechanics and engineers during the revolution, most of whom went down with the air, the aerostatics they served on. Well, it's not even orange though. It's black. I want, wait, why is it black? I don't want a fucking black one, dude. I want it. It's shipped from Estonia. Is it combat or is it mostly investigating in conversations? No, very little combat. A lot of rhetoric, a lot of fucking speaking, so much speaking. It's basically a, a audio book in video game form for the record. Oh, damn. Stats. Airman Kitsuragi, uh, plus one HE coordination, plus one Volta Domar, Feather of the Wind. It's a point and click. Narrative focus, murder mystery, but it's fucking incredible. Okay. They added a black jacket in the latest update of the game. Wait, they did? I didn't see it. And by the way, you stick to the choices. Like, you make fucking choices. You make fucking choices and you stick to them. Like, it's just, it's awesome. It's so sick. Estonia gender ratio is 87 men to 100 women. Nice. Yeah. And lots of your internal thought processes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's existential. It, uh, it's existential as fuck. It is, uh, you know, there's like your, your inner thoughts are fighting one another. Were you a superstar cop? No, I was a sorry cop. I apologized a lot, which basically is, is me anyway, in real life. I do apologize a lot. So I guess unironically the game picked up on it and literally made me the sorry cop. There's like different kinds of cops. You can be, you can be a superstar cop. 
You can be fucking hobo cop, I think. Did you keep the tie on? Bratan, I did. Um, I did the Molotov cocktail and everything too. <clears throat> Dude, I did everything. I did everything. Drink, Bratan. Uh, yes, I did find the cryptid. Yes, I did. I did all of it. Guys, I did all of it, okay? And basically, in the end, all of these, like, fucking loose ends that you think have nothing to do with one another, turns out, have everything to do with one another. Okay? I am a phasmid believer. I'm a phasmid understander. I am a cryptoid, uh, cryptozoologist. I did the karaoke. I did everything. Okay? I'm not spoiling Something. it. Shut the fuck up. People... I, I played it in the most, like, sweaty, try-hard, completionist way possible. Okay? Yes, I did meet Mega Rich Light Bending Guy as well. Uh, shouts out to Will for uh, pushing me to fucking, uh, you know, uh, do that one. You're not going to know anything unless you play the game.